Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Trip Around Multiverse with your host, the man who was the man of steel and later on later on in life became Lex Luthor in a way, in real life, Carl Charles <laughs> and And the Kryptonian baby left at the end of a, a what series cliffhanger which will never, never be resolved <laughs> too much on. And today And uh yeah, yeah, and today we're going to look at the classic, night. Well, will you, will you say classic or will you, well? Okay, definitely nineties TV series. Yeah, Lois and Clark: The New Adventures of Superman. Yeah, four yes. series from nineteen ninety three to nineteen ninety seven. Question before um, we start. Before we yeah. start, because you know more. You you you, mm-hmm. you voice is more recent than I have. It yeah. started off being called the New Adventures. Yes, yes, yes. Of Superman, uh, right? And well, in the UK, okay. the... it's what I think in the UK. Okay. Well, it seemed like Lois and Clark yeah. is a kind of pun on Lewis and Clark, which is relevant to America, but not relevant to the rest of the non-American world. Okay. So, such, you know, it was just broadcast as the new adventures of Superman. Yeah. So it did have the Lois and Clark stuff on top sometimes. Um, uh... but I think generally now it's just known as Lois and Clark because uh, like it's New Adventures of Superman always called Lois and Clark because yeah. people make the connection easier now. Okay, because um, like... it's not like Superman Lois. By the way, I I think yeah. You think? Oh, okay. I was I thought you were gonna say something. I thought you were gonna say something. I I I just <laughs> okay. So Superman and Lois. Yeah. I thought it should it be called Superman. Because that would have made a bit more sense than yeah, just Superman and Lois, right? Yeah. But <clears throat> anyways, anyways. Hmm. What do you remember of this? Uh... I oh, okay. If you don't call it a classic, what do you call it? A retro show? <laughs> I wouldn't call it that now because it's all right. Ah, uh, because I was thinking about this before we 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 we, we came to watch this. Um. All right, I mm-hmm. would consider this show for the time it came out not groundbreaking, but like kind of. Oh, okay, that sounds really bad. Yeah. But I mean, it, like, no, no. I, see, I get what you're saying because when I'm watching it back, I'm like, actually, it's not as. Um, when I watched it as a kid, I was like, oh yes, it's pretty good. But yeah. when you watch it old, you're like, actually, you know what? It's okay. It's, it's okay. kind of cheap in some ways as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just, as it, as it goes on, yeah, the, it gets less and less budget. And I think they made a good, strong showing in the first season to show yeah. Superman doing the Superman stuff to get pe- uh, viewers uh, enticed to watch it. Yeah. And then later, gradually, just became swoop up the cape, jump up the screen. Yeah, he comes back. Come back after group. he's done. Obviously, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause like yeah, I, I, I mean it got it got cheaper and cheaper, but cause like I remember the begin like yes. the first episode obviously where he stops the bus with his hand makes a handprint. I was like oh, that's pretty cool. Wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> let me just say, let me let me set the scene there. But he does stop the bus. Yeah, but it's like one of those things where he obscure like he walks and obscures the bus, and then and then he is is hands on it and yeah. then he moves it away so it's like yeah he did there was no special effects there they made oh. an indented thing to put him to plant his hand into yeah and then move off <laughs> yeah it was kind of obvious I'm like, oh. but like it's, uh, <laughs> like hmm how can i put i don't know like for the time we were very limited to like yeah. superhero stuff in it yeah realistic wasn't it because i think the yeah, last yeah. Superhero related TV show would have been like Incredible Hulk, and that ended like in the seventies, right? No, no, no. There was no, there was Superboy. If you want to, Superboy. All right, but that ended... like, but was that mainstream though? Okay. That was like for kids. Oh well, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that 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 ended a year before this started because, like, I, and yeah. DC Warner Brothers was like, well, let's let's shut that show down so we can start our show because of rights and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, the guys that did the movie had the rights to Superboy, but they were like, Warner's was like, 
well, we don't want people confusing the marketplace, which is what they've always been doing now because that's why Superman Lois is shut down. So Superman Legacy, yeah. or whatever it's going to be called, is, uh, is a thing uh, in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so DC are overly protective of their uh, um, IPs sometimes. Because like overly... alternate universe, alternate universe, doesn't matter. Yeah, well. they're, like they're, they're, I get it being like, you know, protective over your your ip and stuff yeah but then yeah they've lost out so much because of it uh, it's just why why yeah. waste your sort of energies because yeah like, i get it in some cases though yeah i get it in some cases it, but like like uh, yeah it doesn't like for example i think we, i've spoken about this before like in the later episode like in justice league unlimited and even just yeah. League cartoon they couldn't do certain things because one was like, oh no, we're doing something with Batman, like yeah. the Batman movie, so we don't really want any other Batman characters be in it, apart from in the cartoon, mm-hmm. apart from Batman, but it's like but, yeah, that's dumb because you if you do, like, put them in your other shows and stuff it'll bring more eyes to people to see it you know what I mean? It's... And, uh, yeah, uh, who's going to get confused if Batman appears in a cartoon Exactly. Oh, and that's then a, a different... movie because it's clearly not the same. same. Yeah. Yeah. I look. I I I like that. Actually, okay. Marvel do the thing where it's all one universe and then it's connected multiverses and stuff. Like yeah. That. I like that DC the Elseworlds and other stuff, right? Yeah. But I don't commit to it. No. <laughs> because they they stop start and then be like, yeah, actually, what we don't, yeah. 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 Uh, but. <clears throat> I can't do. I can't do. I can't do this. Are you were saying, yeah, about yeah. So okay, it's kind of a breath of fresh air. Yeah. It, it, in in the era that we watched it, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah, put yeah. it that way. Um, because like you're saying, no, no, there hasn't been re- any super kind of base series then. No. Um, and especially not a Superman TV series. No, exactly. Yeah. Uh, for a long while before that. Uh, have you seen any of the fifties, by the way, uh, the George Reeves um, no, Superman stuff? I can't. Like, <laughs> stuff. It, 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 it sounds bad, but Could I, you? I don't Could have. You? I don't know. I I don't think I have the like the the brain capacity to watch anything like that. Because someone was talking to me about um, the original um, War of the Worlds. I think it's like a, yeah. a movie version that whenever, yeah. and yeah, yeah, I just thought I couldn't watch that because I think. My brain's too wired to modern day stuff now, so me going oh, back okay. to anything I get you. before the nineties, I find hard. All right, all right. Yeah, Let, which is really so, bad so, for me, but all right. Uh, so you wouldn't watch the Kirk Allen Superman stuff where he turns into a actual cartoon when he flies? No, I, I couldn't watch. No, that <laughs> you seen those clips? I've seen those clips. I'm like, so oh. he runs off, and then you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and they had to animate him flying, and then when he lands back, he's back to live action. It's like, what? Yeah, okay, no, I don't, I don't, Wacky. I don't think um, I could. Yeah, oh, it's, it's terrible. It's like the. Well, have you seen? Speaking of that, yeah, go on. no, going on. Uh, um, have you seen any of the the Godzillas from the fifties? I've tried. Again, that's nothing. I've ones. tried. I've tried. It's not till they get to <laughs> near like, the right. 70s, 80s. I can I can just about watch, just about. Oh jeez, all right, yeah, okay. Godzuki and okay. all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh Godzuki, shut up. <laughs> Godzuki. All right. Um. Okay. So, what do you remember of the of this series? Um, I remember for some reason Perry White sticks out a lot to me in this show. I don't know why. But I just remember mm-hmm. him being a part of nearly every everything they ever did. He was a part of it. Yeah, and I think the I think the comics took parts of the series. Like we become an Elvis fan. I don't know if it's fan before that, but probably doubt it. That's probably one of the weird synergy things they decided. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what? Let's uh... put this in there too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. Jimmy Olsen a lot because he had a bowl cart. I remember that. Oh, oh, which Jimmy Olsen? Because there's season, season one Jimmy Olsen and then season... Season two and beyond. Two onwards Jimmy yeah, Olsen. him. Yeah. I yeah, totally okay. forgot that it was two... Yeah. Really, like, um, because... What, what, Jimmy Olsen's... Yeah, they, so they got rid of... 
They got rid of season one Jimmy Olsen because they were like, oh, he looks like Clark Kent's younger brother because they looked... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh, the King and him look a bit similar. Yeah. I but then that. you're like, right, when you've worked out while you were, while you were doing the auditions... Yeah, while you were realized, Hold on a second. And doing the reels <laughs> together. Yeah, you, that would kind of come up then, right? Yeah. But apparently not. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it made sense for them to recast, even though they didn't recast someone with... Ginger hair? <laughs> Not like I mean, mean like I think they're Jimmy Olsen, awesome, but I but mean, yeah, you know, you season said... two one had light brown hair, so that's, that's fair enough. Yeah, but you, I it's not like you couldn't. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, uh, how many? How many Jimmy Olsons? How many Jimmy Olsons would you say actually have ginger hair in live action? Oh, have any? I don't think any of them actually. Yeah, I say I'm thinking about it now. Like I don't think any, not even the ones from like the um, Christopher Reeve films. He didn't have ginger hair, did he? Uh, mm-hmm, wow. mm-hmm. uh I don't know if the new one has ginger hair either. That's a good point. Is he? Is it? So... There is ginger hair, <laughs> is it, right? He is. There was what? Sorry, Jimmy Olsen is going to be in a new. Super yeah, yeah. Movie. Oh, sorry. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. Level. And not the Jimmy. Ol- yeah. Oh, oh, Jimmy, Olsen Jimmy Olsen from from, <laughs> from Justice League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a terrible. Yeah, the CIA agent, <sighs> right? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Again, I, I, um, this is coming from me. I kind of tried to defend the DCEU films, but that one was like, mm, no, yeah, bit too much. Um, do you remember? Do Do you remember Cat Grant in season one? She was in this. <laughs> yeah, 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 you clearly forgot, right? Clearly but forgot, if you'd man. watched it again, if you'd watch, if you watched these, uh, she's only in season one, yeah, and then that's it. Um, and my goodness, if you was in a company with that lady, oh, you would have an HR case. You would say she is uh very overt with her um oh. femininity. That's the best way I could put it, right? Without actually, you know. oh, um, always way. coming on a bit too strong, like yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's we. Yeah, let's... She's here for a joke, and that's about it. Yeah. And then we run it too long because there's a whole season worth. Oh wow! And then they're like, "Well, <laughs> she's just gonna disappear. That's it. Disappeared. And done. That's it. Never, st- never yeah. spoken of ever again. Um. Wow. No, not even they acknowledged why Jimmy Olsen uh, changed person. They didn't even say, "Oh, did you get your haircut? You look different." Because you know, sometimes they do that. They yeah, sometimes yeah. they acknowledge it. In, in things, but... Which I always like when they do that sort of stuff. But wow, <laughs> well, that's worth being like. Cat Grant, um, well, she's like quite um, prevalent in the in the Superman comics and like the mythos, right? So that's weird how they just like well. Yeah, but she. I think they. This version of Cat Grant wasn't like that version of Cat. Yeah, she was Grant, Grant, Cat Grant by um, name. At all. Ah, okay. Yes, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Terrible. But but speaking of main cast members, what do you think of Dean Cain as uh, Clark Kent and as Superman? Because <laughs> I'll, let, like, I'll let you say first, and then I'll come with my opinion. Um. He just seemed. I can see why people like of like our age and range will find Superman boring because, like, to me, he just came off like bland and just oh, he's just there. Well, like, as his as his Superman, yeah, or uh, as both, or as both, as okay, because like, right, right, more my like more my memories of this show, and I can see why it's called Lois and Clark, not super, not Clark and Lois. Because, yeah. like, she brings more of the energy and the excitement to the yeah. show and everything. Like, and that's Terry Hatcher. I don't, like, that. maybe that's just, she's that good of an actress. But, like, Dean Kane just seemed like yeah. he just he was just there. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm Superman. I can usually save people. Uh, to be Lois. fair, yeah. what they did right, yeah, they did, what they did right was have a dual lead sort of thing where I, both of them had the, I want to say similar screen time because I'm not going to measure it, but they were of equal importance. Yeah. Um, like I say, she does. Uh, Terry Hatch does stand up because she does get to do stuff that's serious and goofy as well at the same yeah. time. Um, sometimes in the same episode. Yeah. Right. 
but but she's a solid lowest lane um because she can capable of doing stuff she has uh, been an army brat she can fight right yeah. she does a couple of her things so you're like oh yeah but it's clearly a stump woman or stuff like that because terry, like do you don't see terry hatcher's face or anything like that no like all right um I agree with you though. Dean Kane's okay. Put it this way, right? Yeah. I'm gonna look a bit, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend a bit as well. Okay. All right, all right, all right. His Superman and his Clark Kent, the differential was nothing, right? Yeah. <laughs> they were basically the same, except one guy holds his arm and the other guy doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, funny enough, his Superman had kind of like more uh, the slick back hair, which is usually what Clark has. Yeah. And Superman usually has more natural kind of hair but yeah, yeah. That. um yeah and like you're saying people are right like people from the, a certain era will be like look man we could tell superman is Clark Kent because only the glasses are different and yeah. i think dean kane helped with that uh the way that people perceive it because yeah, 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 he yeah. didn't act any different no he just acted a little bit more not kind of as superman but a bit uh a bit more, more confident apart yeah well it's more like if I, when i'm speaking to you as far as uh and that's how he would speak to people as clark but as superman because he's got to be a, a friend to all people he's got to be a certain distance um from being because he doesn't quote unquote know them as superman so he yeah, can't yeah. he can't really relate to them he can't be like super that paddy so, paddy. you know yeah, um, yeah. that that sort of thing it's like yeah 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 so there's a certain level of professionalism we're going to put yeah. it that way right uh however I will say that the series, watching it through, um, was put in my mind the the dip, like how I perceive Clark Kent, but he's the main identity, and yeah. Superman's is. So Dean Kane, Dean Kane's Clark Kent said, "Clark is who he is, and Superman is what he does," which made sense at the time, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was like something that I yeah going forward, I think DC. I, I don't know if they took it from. John Burns Man of Steel back in the late eighties and then the T V series to that. But mm. when I was watching the T V series and that was before I got into the comics, I was like, okay, that makes sense because it's it's him navigating his life and then when he has to do Superman stuff, he is Superman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um whereas back in you know, even the Christopher Reeve films and stuff like that, you would say Superman is the main Superman is him. Yeah. Clark yeah. Kent is who he pretends to, he be, pretends to be, yeah, to fit in, um, yeah. So I will, I will give it that, right? I will say, as much as <laughs> there's no difference between, uh, so this is the other thing, right? I find with uh, Dean Cain's uh, Superman slash Clark Kent is, yeah. If you're friends with Lois and you're playing both these guys basically the same, and you look all, almost exactly the same, yeah. How does she not no. like? I know they, they do an episode where they got the time travel the Tempest, yeah? Yeah. And he mocks her with the glasses on off, on nothing, yeah? Yeah. And is she wealthy? Mm. Because he's a time traveler too. He yeah. says basically, look, what you have this thing sometimes is when you're blinded yeah. by love for one person, you, you, you just don't see anything in front of you. Which, okay, okay, fine. Yeah, but yeah, you're defending yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> you have to come up with a reason to defend that rather than display it in, in, in a way you're like oh, okay this could work yeah right i know there's sort of certain um suspension of disbelief yeah yeah um but oh, yeah dk come on did not have that. <laughs> yeah i will say i know i'm not dk but i'm gonna be fair as well. i'm gonna be fair as well and say henry cavill also did the same part again and the superman what was the difference but you know I, um, I, yeah I... especially with 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 henry like the thing with Henry Cavill though, he ha like how they stop the movies. He was you never actually saw him as Clark Kent, Clark Kent That's until part the, of the end. problem as well. Yeah, so they you yeah. don't really get to set up that sort of um, connection, yeah. right? So that's that you kind of get away with. Well, that. yeah, yeah. But then when he has to be Clark Kent in in the later films, it's just like what's the point then? You might as well just have had yeah, which is just be silly. Superman all the time. Um, yeah, yeah. Been, but, mm. I, I just think it's it, it's also with that it's even worse because Superman and Lois are kissing in the 
wasteland of Metropolis after the when they, when Dodds find them and the Kryptonians have tried to destroy um, the city, yeah. right? Yeah. And then Clark, this guy who looks exactly like Superman, is is with Lois. Yeah. At the Daily Planet, and they're a couple, right? Like, oh, yeah. Okay, you know. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, before the, the before the Henry Cavill fans try and kill me on it, but I was like, yeah, man's good. He just didn't get good in the good script, so yeah, we yeah, could yeah. see those differences. Yeah. So you know, that's not uh, that's not digging on him. No. Uh, I'm it's, sure he had the capabilities of do, doing it. He just dresses like a male model. Right? Yeah, <laughs> and you can see even when he's wearing the shirts, you can see their arms. So you're yeah, like, you can see <laughs> like, in the chest. I'm like, oh. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, I believe yeah. he's a journalist, and I think he's got a distinct. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Farm boy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right, but, but journalist. All right, sure. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so Lex, Lex, what did you think of Tom Shears, Lex Luthor? Uh, another thing, I totally forgot he was Lex Luthor because <laughs> at first, right, doesn't he have the curly like hair? He still, he does, he does. He never, he he never, never, he never, he never, never loses it. Yes. Well, he he does. He, okay, the one episode when, so he he kills himself at the end of season one. Yeah, because they ain't taking me alive. Yeah, that's how it rolls. Yeah, yeah and somehow when he hits the floor from his skyscraper, right? They yeah. still able to get his body, not look splattered or anything like that. They get his body so they can revive him later on. And it's good that he, they do kind of. He is the recurring character through the the episodes, uh, the, the the later seasons, right? Yeah. Um, but it's a bit weird for Lex Luthor not to make as many appearances as he should have. Yeah. Anyways, yes, he he had a bold cap in one, uh, a couple of episodes, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. When he comes back, but I will say this as well: season one was focused because they knew they had an idea of where they were going, beginning to end. Yeah, Lex Luthor being the main thing that's running through it, yeah. and I think the rest of the seasons didn't really have that. They didn't have a main nemesis. They didn't have it. Well, Tempest, the time fugitive, comes back and forth a couple of times. Uh, Lex Luthor, it was like season si- single episodes. Or t- uh, two episodes uh, or stuff like that, right? Yeah. Cliffhangers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but nothing, like, continuous. So you could watch an episode and you're like, oh, yeah, let me watch the, you know, the next, next yeah. three weeks, miss an episode and watch another episode. You know, it's a solo episode story, you know, that yeah. sort of thing. Like, okay, which is fair for the time, right? Because I think even even Smallville, uh, which is, like, years later in the yeah. 2000s, yeah. they did that as well. And most series, like, even... The, even the, Currently, when we're watching like some of the DCs, they've got like the B, the background plot running, and sometimes there's single episodes which are just yeah, sort of you could watch out of order and, and know what's going on. Yeah, because I make like a, a well, one... I think they're doing better by the way of having a yeah, because like they made that one like reference to the Something... current storyline of whatever's going on. Yeah, yeah, um, which I like sometimes. I, I I do prefer something that has uh, like an ongoing story seeds and then goes through in the background of the entire series. Yeah, 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 yeah. Though so I get it, probably at this period in time, they they're like, we don't need to have that. Yeah. To bog us down, um, but I think that that kind of backfired on them later on because it's just like, well, it's not must watch then because if we miss something, yeah, then we don't know what the rest of the the story might be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did did when you were yeah uh, when you were in the comics? Yeah. Uh, was Martha was Martha and uh, Jonathan Kent alive? Um. Yeah, because yeah, when I was reading the comics, they were still alive. Because I remember like a couple of years before the New Fifty Two, I think it was like after the um, a hundred minute war, something like that. After um, Superman, wait, no, the... hmm? no, I was gonna say that. Oh, the 100 minute war, the 100 minute war. Am I mixing up the flash, the one minute war? No, there was a so there were you know, the storyline Planet Krypton when Krypton came back, and oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Superman yeah. was on Krypton for like a year, but so then Flame yeah. Bird and Night oh, okay, Bird. okay, yeah, I... yeah. 
I, I am mixing up. I thought you meant the one minute war, and I was like, wait, yeah, no, that's that's the that's flash. Yeah, I really recent. Um, so yeah, cause yeah, yeah. Clock, um, Park Kent was alive <laughs> then, and then after that, when Superman came back to Earth and that stuff, um, mm -hmm. Park Kent died, and then that's when Superman did the grandest um, storyline where he walked all around America just talking to people and stuff, which was pretty cool, but weird at the same yeah. time. Yeah, so... I think I, you know I I hear I hear bad things about that storyline though. I get the gimmick right. I know I see the gimmick, but the idea of it is cool. Yeah, However, yeah, yeah. I think Weird. people didn't like the execution of it. Yeah, because I think yeah. they were trying um, to make. I haven't read it, so I don't, I don't. I don't. I like, don't. I think the whole point was they're trying to make people more Superman more like relatable, like human, like, yeah. humanize him sort of, but then it kind of backfired. Like we don't read really Superman yeah. for that. We read really it for him to be like smashing things. Yeah, yeah. But then people complain that like he's not enough. So yeah, I think I'm trying to like bridge that gap, but didn't work. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I will say I think when I was reading the comics as well. Yeah. Ma and Pa Kent were both alive. Yeah. And I think we must have uh, like if you came into around the same time i came to which was like after the man of steel john bone reboot in the 80s where they after christ and infinite earths mm. then this the current comic books at that time synced with the show yeah i by the way i always assumed Brian park and were alive by the way i never knew they were they had died before um i think in the initial superman story mm. before he comes to metropolis park and yeah, uh, Ma and Pa Kent are both dead. Oh, is it? They do. They do the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Pa Kent is on his deathbed, uh, you know, dying in the, on the farm, and then he's saying to Clark, "You should use your powers for good." Blah blah blah. Right, right. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. This sounds very much like Spider Man yeah. in the 1960s, except this was in the 1940s. Uh, so you know, uh, it was very close to great power comes great responsibility. Like, Stan Lee, Stan Lee, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh. But uh, yeah, exactly. Um, but I think yeah, like you and I, we both assumed that Kent's were always alive and never yeah. and never died, which I thought uh, added to uh, the law because Batman's parents were were dead and Spider Man's parents were dead and stuff like that. Yeah, like all right, well, oh. like one guy who who's a generally good guy has his parents alive to see him be there. It's like yeah, yeah. except obviously. Um, they go back and forth, I think, sometimes, whether they decide that like, Clark's dad has to die from yeah. something that he can't control. Yeah. Um, not a tornado, because no. that's that's something else completely. Um, but, like, you know, Parkin usually has a heart attack from the, based on the... On... <laughs> based on the... 70s? Yeah. Uh, 1978 movie, yeah. And, to show, and I think people... Clark, you know. In a yeah, way. well, uh, yeah. I think they they tried to do it in the way that he he even though he's got all these powers, yeah, like they say in the movie. But I think they did it in as in an All Star Superman as well, where it's just like sometimes you can't do anything, yeah, um, and it's about multi and stuff like that. It's like, okay, fair fair enough, fair yeah. enough. Um, yeah. but I like that his parents were alive here because they just gave him someone else to speak to, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, before his identity got revealed to Lois because, yeah. um. Because from that point, like, who, who, yeah, that's why, well, I think that's why Batman needs Robin in the TV series, because he's got someone to talk to and Alfred, right? But, yeah. you know, uh, if his parents weren't alive, it would have been very, um, who does he explain certain pot plots to, to the audience? How's he going to do that? Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. Just realised that, yeah. Um, weird or... But this, 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 yeah, I think this, this, what the good was, like, those relationships between the characters yeah. and, and the workplace. It's the Clark's family, the Clark's home life, Clark's, you know, very much expanded all, all of that. So you knew, you knew what was going on with that guy. Yeah. Because um, he's, he's, he's the main star of the show, right? Um, yeah. Um, what did you think about, so the, I think Clark proposes to Lois at the end of season two. Oh, was that? Uh, what did you think of that? I was like... Did you think that was a bit quick for, for like, I mean... You, you, we didn't know how long the series the the series was going to last. So, no. but, uh, yeah. did you think they? But, but did you think that was going to be a bit too quick? I thought that they would uh, kind of like stretch out as long as they could. If I was honest, yeah. Just to, you know, 
do the thing. But then I keep remembering now that it wasn't that yeah. long ago in the comics in real time that Clark and Lois got married. True. So I was like, okay, they kind of like well trying to stay on the pulse. Well, I, I think I think he, <laughs> I think he revealed his identity to Lois during the first couple of seasons of Super, Super uh, Clark, Lois and Clark. Yeah, and they were DC Comics were setting up the wedding. Yeah, except the TV series people were like, no, you can't, you can't, you can't do that because we're gonna we're gonna try and time our wedding. Like we got our episodes here, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have to figure out something to store. Okay. And then someone said, let's kill Superman, and then we got the death of Superman to store that, yeah. Ah, okay. And then company synergy. When exactly. Lois and Clark did get married in the series, she yeah. was a frog eating clone. Like, what? what was that about? Do you, do you, uh, that, do you uh, how much do you remember? <laughs> of what, the comic or the TV show? Uh, the t- well, okay. So, did you watch it off BBC One when it came on? Yes. On Saturdays. Uh, I think season, yeah. Season 2, I think, also came on BBC One, right? Yeah, because I, mean, I think after that, that's when it moved... According to Wikipedia, um, yeah. Sky got the rights to season f- the fourth season. Wait, what? So the- okay. Four and three, three and four? Four. That's weird. So they only got the last season. That's kind of stupid. Oh! For some reason, I thought they... Here's the thing, right? I, yeah. For some reason, I thought Sky had the, got the rights to season three or four oh, but okay. for some reason i do remember seeing bits of season three this is okay this is what they did so sky bought season four and then yeah just before that they got able to get the rights to season one two and three so season yeah, one two, two and three was two, on three ones yeah gotcha. okay that's very weird yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And well told, yeah that's dumb yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that, in that case, yeah. Um, yeah. Because I was gonna say, I I remember a bit solidly season one, mostly season yeah. two, some of it. Yeah. And I, yeah, partial bits of season three. But that's when I assumed that. Did you have Sky? And did yeah. I think did you, my, my the time, did you just Sky. kind of stop watching? It? I think by that time I would have got. Sky. But you did bother yeah. watching the season. No, I watched all. I watched it. I watched all the seasons. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, because I think I used to watch it with my parents. Right, right. I was like, oh, yeah, just no, nothing's, nothing. Just nothing stuck out. I guess nothing, except yeah. for like the last episode. This is true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Um, one season. I don't know if you want me to jump ahead of stuff. Yeah. Whatever. Don't like a ship of Kryptonians come and he goes off with them for a bit. And that's where yeah. he wears the black suit, right? Yep. Yeah, the. Yeah. Yeah, the end of season three. That is, and then at the beginning of season four. The Kryptonians have taken over, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. Um, but yes, he he gets the the black suit with the silver S, like he did in the comics from Return of Superman. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, and Kryptonians have telepathic abilities or whatever. But yeah, okay, whatever. Sure, whatever. Like, uh, yeah. Convenience. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that, there's some. There's some whack stuff going in this series um where yeah the frog eating clone of lois because they tried to think of the president and then uh, it was tempest that was doing the the thing and it, we, uh, anyways and then the real lois yeah. becomes so she was writing a book right <laughs> this is a story like okay. she was when she met clark back way back in season one she was writing a book uh yeah. like a you know them 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 trashy novels yeah yeah and she, there was a guy called clark who she disliked and a guy called ken that she did like and then she was a character called wonder detroit and stuff like that oh, wow. what okay. okay yeah and then lex luther finds a plan uh yeah. the book and, she, and she, he teams up to clark to find it but then he pretends that he's ken and clark always introduces him as, himself as clark even the, the manuscripts so he yeah. knows that clark is the bad guy or the guy perceived with the secret. So why would you? Okay. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. That that's. Uh... Yeah. I mean, look, look. The series is campy, but at the same time, it's just like. I I I can forgive it in some respects, and then some bits you're like, yeah, you just it's a bit too. Far. Okay, when Clark's making all these excuses, 
when he needs to go off and do Superman stuff. Yeah. Right? When he speaks to Lois and goes, oh, yeah, I've got to return the video cassette or, or my, um, or my, uh, the, the cheese order that I've had, the, the remaining monthly cheese order, I've got to go home and get it because, yeah. you know, if I leave out the cheese, it's going to run. Yeah, okay. Funny stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And they become more sillier and sillier as the series goes on. But I think they lean into it, so you accept it. Yeah. You kind of and then they all when the uh, knows uh, that she has to help him make excuses as well. And all Perry and Jimmy are like, what? <laughs> They're the ones playing the, uh, the, the street. Yeah. So that's stuff. Yes. But, um, uh, yeah, I don't. Um, do you, you do you remember Resplendent Man and Ultra Woman? Wait, what? I was actually about to ask you. Was okay, it like... Resplendent Man was Resplendent Man was what? Like the, the the guy who so when Clark got hit by lightning and he held, he grabbed someone who uh, he, he, to stop them committing suicide. The lightning power, like lightning, transferred half his powers to this other guy. Okay. And then, yeah, the the guy was like, "Oh well, you know what? I will rescue your cats and stuff like that if you pay me money because you know I'm resplendent." And then, like, what? And then him and Clark have a fight, right? Yeah. Like, him and Superman have a fight, except that because of cheapness, right? Yeah. All you see is trash car, like the cars are like people's reactions, trash cars and broke whatever, whatever, right? And then the, you know, and then the cameras move across and they're like, Pfft. and they're looking at each other, wow. like, yeah, yeah, we just. We're causing damage, you know. Um, Ultra Woman is when Lois gets the powers of Superman like, transferred to her. Oh wow! Like okay. someone's trying to one of these evil villainesses were transferring powers. Yeah, uh, got a shot beam and it was supposed to transfer to someone else. But then Lois was in the way or something and transferred to her instead. Yeah. Oh wow! And then all this time that Superman has no powers, but he's gonna pretend to be Superman. Yeah. Instead of flying away from the scenes that he usually does, he's like, oh yeah, and he starts running off. Even though he's not moving at any speed, the people will be like, wait a second. This doesn't... <laughs> why is he not flying? Why is he not super speed? Why is he, you know, why is he just jogging? Yeah. Anyways. Um, but but sometimes, you know, how it is, uh, for the convenience of the plot, people, the civilians are... They... they... They're, yeah, they're, they're, they have tunnel vision... <laughs> When it's convenient to the plot, yeah. yeah. That was another exactly, question exactly, I wanted to ask you about this show. Then, so did this show have any like no like reoccurring like villains or like characters or whatever? Uh, other than Lex Luthor in season one, yeah. Lex Luthor appeared in season two, three, and f- I don't think it was in four. Okay. Lex Luthor Junior was in four, but not Lex Luthor Junior. Because Lex Luthor had his brain transplanted into a clone of his younger body of an Australian with uh, the, the the red mane and the, the beard, but not the moustache bit. Uh, okay. You remember Lex Luthor Jr. in the comics? Yeah, I remember that, yeah. And then it wasn't yeah. really Lex the mm-hmm. whole time because stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Oh. And there was a, a time fugitive Tempest or something like that. And then there was um, the prank still all there and toy man as well but they won't really go much yeah, I, I, that's what i'm saying is i think it lost kind of focus yeah um for later in the seasons i know generally the relationship is, is your lowest and clark that's what the relationship is about um, yeah i think yeah it, as much as i think he had more eyes on it while watching it because people were like oh, okay when are they going to get together yeah when they got together People are like, all right, well, so what, you know, that's yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. As with most series, that's that's what happens. Yep. Yeah, like the um, in the chase. We've got what we want now, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's... which um, how 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 yeah. Because yeah, because I think I like they had a decently one. built-in amount of audience. Yeah. So, yeah. How, how come they didn't maintain the audience? Is is the question, but. But, you but I think that, that's because certain things start getting city and city, yeah. But saying that, mm-hmm. yeah, all right, I'm looking at the TV ratings, yeah. This is in the, uh, in the United States yeah. when it was on ABC. So this is all yeah, four yeah. seasons running from 993 to 997. All right. Yeah. So the first season, in total viewers, got 18.1 million viewers. Yeah. And then season two, 18.3. Season four... 18.8. Wait, wait, are we talking about 
sorry, sorry. Um, just to clarify to me, yeah, are we talking about average views per episode or highest views per episode? I think it's like a season in general. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. And the, the there's a big dip off in season four because they only got they got yeah. they was nine point seven million. So like, yeah. that's a big drop, but that's still awesome like viewership because like shows nowadays will kill for that but now yeah yeah we have yeah. way too much <laughs> yeah. back then it was less so i guess that <laughs> yeah 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 helps it well still. yeah um that's crazy yeah man. well yeah i pff, well but uh, i was gonna say i could probably see why from season four it, it got yeah, cancelled because because where'd you go next it, it, it wasn't going anywhere. It's just it was just there to be there at this point, you know. Yeah. Um, and you know what's strange to think is four years later, Smallville. Yeah. And that's a big change, com- like completely starts. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's nuts. Like that's yeah. the young. It's people. funny when you actually when you think about it way back then. The so the last Superman su- film, Superman Four, was nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. Then you had 1988 to 92, you had the Superboy TV series. Yeah. And then you had 93 to 97, the Superman, Lois and Clark TV series. And then 2001, then you had Smallville. Yeah. We're and then you had the them. CW shows. It's like, wow, it's actually a continuous stretch, but yeah. it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. And then, yeah, because all yeah. this. Yeah, it's just. Wow. Because even now we've got Lois and Clark. Oh, sorry, Lois, yeah. Superman and Lois. So yeah, like I said, yeah. it's been pretty consi- got continuous, hasn't it? Wow. Yeah, except that now we're not because I bet that to be fair as well as a certain time period where there was no Superman on TV, TV yeah. or film. No. Um, the only time they had was when Smallville was on and they had Superman Returns. Yeah. Um, but technically, I don't know if they count Super. I mean, Smallville, Smallville. Yeah. And, but it's still Superman. Yeah. And in some places, they had, he had the subtitles Adventures of Superboy. So, you know. Oh, did it? I think, mean, actually, in the UK, I think, yeah, in, in the UK, I first remember on, on Channel 4, it said, it's Smallville. Yeah. Superman, the early years. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. Um, yeah, in some other places, I think in, 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 in like, uh, Spanish, like, Puerto Rican, Mexican, whatever. Yeah. I think it, all, it had Smallville, and then it said, uh, you know, the adventures of Superboy in, 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 in that language. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. Right, well, you know. <laughs> Even though he never wears a Superman costume in that oh. at all, so, you know. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, okay. What did you think in, in this series? Yeah. Where Clark doesn't seem to have any... <laughs> more like super powered adventures prior to the series yeah because they didn't really talk about yeah i don't know how i feel about that yeah all uh, right even it's not even like you said they don't talk about it, it just they don't act he comes in and he's he's he just can use his powers but they yeah he's, he's yeah. like he's not yet yeah, he did yeah he's just okay huh yeah all right yeah. <laughs> you know but it, yeah, like you said, the family never acknowledged that he does stuff back then. Did he even do stuff back then? Like, you know, it's nothing. There's yeah. nothing to say he did, nothing to say he did, didn't. So, um, yeah. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Um, I suppose he'd be a bit more low-key. Yeah. Uh, Sm- Smallville shows me otherwise, but that's that's kind of different. Um, and yeah, his his uh, his mom designed the costume for him, which in the first episode, it's like a really small S. Yeah. It's like the, the size of the Super Returns S. Yeah. yeah. But and then, then it gets larger and larger where it goes to the point where it's belly button and it's collar. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, that's a massive, you know, what that, happened there? That's super stretchy, I guess. It, oh. it, they they did me the mid-region S at some point. Yeah. Well, I'll put it this way, right? Yeah. Okay. So, let's have Henry Cowboy this. Say again? But he had to wear a muscle suit yeah, for his yeah, color. Yeah. Even though they've got veins somehow in the muscle suit, right? Yeah. This is Dean Kane wearing spandex all the way. And I'm like, you know what? The guy's got a good build, actually. Mm. To, 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 you know, um, not muscul- muscular build, but an athletic build. Because it's like, you know what? 
Yeah, he's, he has to wear what he has to wear. There's no, there's no hiding anything in that. Yeah, I know, but he just doesn't. I don't know. He just never seemed like opposing a Superman. He's like, oh, this is. Oh, okay. so so. Your yeah, that's Superman. a good point. How tall do you think? Uh, how tall do you think Dean Cain is? Uh, I want to say he's like five eleven. Okay, and how tall? Is Superman, uh, Superman supposed to be? I think it's only like 6'4", right? 6'4", six, 6'3", six, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a massive, that's a massive difference, yeah. Well, I say it's not a massive difference, but it's a decent enough difference where you're like, hold on a second, you know? Because most of the Superman actors are over six foot. Yeah. And some people say Tyler Hickman's short, but I'm like, no, he's about, he's roughly, him and Henry Cavill are roughly the same height, give or take a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah. But Dean Kane, yes. Uh, quite a small Superman. Like you said, he doesn't look imposing. No. Um, I don't know if they needed to actually have lifts in his boots, just like Kane has lifts in his boots. Yeah, he should have done <laughs> To add a couple of inches in height. And you know what, that could have added... If he did have that, could have added to the um, disguise, you know? Yeah. Like Clark's that height, and then Superman's like a couple of inches taller than him, you know? Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. Um, but, no. but yeah, they they. Nah, nah. What did you think of the Superman costume? Um, it did give off like my mum did make this vibes from it, so I don't, <laughs> it kind of sticks with what this show is going for. It's true. Um, it was bright and it was comics accurate, yeah. but it. Yeah. I think it did look a bit silly sometimes. Um, I will say the the briefs are, are very, very small briefs. Yeah. <laughs> you speedo briefs, man. I think they're just. I, I'm not a fan of the speedo briefs, of Superman. Um, how short they, those things are sometimes. I, well, especially for the Dean Kane ones, right? Yeah. So Christopher Reeves wearing it, it looks fine, but for, for some reason, Dean Kane's ones seem to be like way more shorter. Yeah, I don't know. They just look like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like the Chris Free one yeah. kind of fits uh, the era, but this one doesn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Still. Yeah, but even when Brandon Ruff was wearing them, the Super Mario Turns, they yeah, I mean they 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 seem short, but they didn't seem as short as the yeah, DK's yeah. ones. Maybe because they weren't they were different. They had textured material, and it didn't look as uh, as tight. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. But you would think over like the, um, the next three uh, seasons it would like, improve, but no. Well, I, I think the costume changed every so often. Did it? But it's minor changes, like the size of the yeah, yeah, like size of the yes, and and I think maybe the the material and stuff. Well, not necessarily the material, but how they how they put the capes together. Because I think sometimes they they were the one capes which came over, and then the other yeah. ones they had the ones where tucked in the the collar. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, that um, makes that makes sense. Yeah. Still weird, but yeah. yeah but yeah, I I yeah this this look. Would I recommend that you rewatch this series? No. <laughs> okay. Maybe season one. Right? Season one. But uh, yeah. Hmm. But once Lex Luthor kind of leaves the series, there's no one else. There's no. Oh, okay. So there's Clark. There's Superman, and they're both. Kind of fine for Lois's affection, yeah. Yeah. Lex Luthor was a span in the works because he was also doing that. Yeah. But after that, after he, him being gone, it's like, yeah, he becomes like a Lois stalker. Oh. Wow. And he comes back, right. says, "Oh, maybe I can get the affection of this woman." No, no. I'm going after her. Wow. <laughs> I'm going after this woman. She wants me on nothing. Okay. You know? But like, how do you even justify that? Yeah. Like, writing. But hey. You know. Oh, you just you don't. He's evil. He's evil. Oh, of course, yeah, that's yeah. what. That's why. That always makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, evil people are gonna do evil things. Yeah. Uh, I think also in season two they had a cop lady who was like big into Clark. Yeah. Um, but not into Superman. And then she finds out. What she obviously has to die because y- yeah. Yeah. You that's know. the cleanest way the for series yeah. to get rid of. Any other love triangles that go on? Any other um, romantic competition? Yeah, because then they Kill did that with, um, 
Patty <laughs> she finds that Clark Superman a bit later on. In the Flash, right? Uh, Spinner. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah which... I, yeah, she got literally put on a train and she never came back. Yeah. Um, Fun time. Which well, was unfortunate because, like, you know what? She she she, she was a good actress when we played her. They, they, I feel like they could have done more with her. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think she went on to be yeah, they, in... They, um, as much as... The Shooter TV show? The Boys? No. Yeah, and The, the Boys. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The she Shooter? The yeah. Yeah. That Mark Wahlberg film. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, well, there's a series. I think here's Shooter, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's in that as yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's in The Boys. Well, she was in The Boys. Spoiler, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah. Don't give it away. No. Oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but um, <clears throat> pulling back to Lois and Clark, you, yeah. you, you, you are not going to rewatch at any point. You're, you're thinking you're oh. going to be like, oh, so you're not saying okay. Not for example, I'm saying forever, forever. But sometime in the near future, you're like. There's no need for you to watch this, so you're not going to watch it at any point. Yeah, I feel like maybe odd episode. Like to be fair, I might actually go back to see like the last season, uh, and actually, I want to see, might go back to see when he goes back to Krypton that stuff. Cause, cause well, he like, doesn't. He doesn't go back to Krypton. Oh no, but when those Krypton, not go back to Krypton, but we meet another Kryptonians or whatever. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I was kid, gonna say you're. you're be... <laughs> You'd be sort of disappointed yeah, before but... we went back to crypto because he doesn't oh. go. I remember being. Oh, like... spoiler, Kyle! What? Krypton exploded. <laughs> Wait, what? No, joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> but actually, what's funny is, um, I think who, who was it? They were writing a Superman movie. I think I can't remember exactly what it was what they were writing yeah? but it was a Superman movie something something yeah, and they were, and one a guy. One of the producers or something was talking about, oh, yeah, we, the 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 ship that Superman came into as a as as a kid, yeah, yeah, we we gotta keep it. And they're like, everyone's like, why, why? Because well, how's he gonna get back to Krypton? They're, they're like, what? The planet blew up. Yeah, what are you talking about? Go back to something that's not. So there. yeah, mm-hmm. except in Superman Returns, the in the deleted scene, he actually does. But that okay. So in Superman Returns, the reason he's missing for five years is that there was leaked information. Cal Penn did it. Um, yeah. That the that Krypton there's some some you know uh, remains of Krypton on a web and that's why he goes he disappears. He goes there and he comes back. Yeah. But they never get to the bit. They never show the bit where he's walking through Krypton, like you know the remnants and stuff like yeah. that. They just like having crashed back come to earth and say that yeah um yeah oh, um yeah, but nothing was there. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> yeah, yeah i think um this okay so as much as this this series had a couple of key superman villains actually they had uh mixes picklick in it oh did they yeah random isn't it that's not yeah yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah, um, but I think there's some that like, yeah, did it happen? But like... You know what? I, okay, I, I can't remember if I'm mixing up because I I did see a clip of Superboy which had Metello in it, and I'm pretty sure there was a Metello in Lois and Clark. It might not be John Corbin, but I think there was a guy with like something. Something. I want to say there was. What he who he was and what um, he did, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure he was. Yeah. Um, but yeah yeah uh so uh, but yeah but i think there are some tv based villains probably that they could have done i know they could have done people like mongol or, or cyborg superman yeah. who didn't exist at that point anyway yeah he right? would have yeah he would have been um, new, but he was not 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 super alien hybrids from Cody where they just paint the dude yeah green even though it looked pretty cool but um or they didn't even need to paint the dude green just put him in the pink kind of um thing with the and and uh, some sort of brain helmet you know and just called him brainiac or something like that you know that's what they could have done but i don't know <laughs> like all of superman's like main villains would never have worked in this show 
Because like, like we spoke about with um, yeah. when he brought Death uh, again, quote unquote, Deathstroke into it. He was just a guy who could yeah. telepathically give people strokes. <laughs> I mean, like, like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's tougher. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. I think they should have uh, even... It, they could have got some of the more campier Superman villains yeah. that we'd never see in in a movie or anything like that. I put them in this and they, they work within it, you know? Well, they could um, even, like... Stole... Yeah, it's like if they had a Batman TV... Wait, what did you say? I was going to say if they had the... Ba- but it, actually, what I, who I was going to say would work to, like what you were going to say, uh, I feel, yeah? You were going to say that they could have stole the videos from other places, right? Yeah. I was going to say they could have even used the Condiment King from yeah. Batman yeah. <laughs> and put him in there because the Condiment King, you know, it... it it's it fit the vibe of this show. Yeah, it was. Um, it to be fair, as well, sometimes they have just random thug villains and, and nameless whatever jabronis, yeah. Yeah. Which are like, okay, fine, you know, um, Superman just dealing with the normal humans and stuff like that. Yeah. Which does happen, um, but yeah, then why not just grab the yeah sillier villains like Kite Man and stuff like that and just uh, yeah do something with them. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it wasn't that hard, but it wouldn't have mattered in the long run. We're never going to see Kite Man in any any Batman, whatever, right? Yeah, no. So the closest thing you'll yeah. see Kite Man in is uh, Killer Moth. Or... Killer Moth. Wait, wasn't Ki- wait? No, it's Firefly. He was going to be in um that Batgirl film that got cancelled. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And not cancelled because of woke cancelled. They just straight yeah, up got cancelled. Straight up cancelled. Like the film was um, actually filmed I, well, after the film, it, which is like nuts. Weird mm-hmm, part, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but you're saying you're only curious to see season four of this series. Yeah. Uh, just to what? Is it the one you remember the least, or you're like, uh, oh, right. Just, I don't know, because that whole yeah. baby bit, like, as a kid, they've got to be very intrigued. And now I'm like, yeah, this, they really didn't know they was going, did they? And this is a weird cliffhanger. No, they, I feel like, I feel like they didn't know where they were going. It was just a um, uh, yeah. Oh, Sam Lane is a doctor in this. He's not a a a, a, uh, a military whatever whatever. And he doesn't. What's the point? Um. Which, by the way, now we're pointing that out. He's a military general that has. Superman. Yeah. Very similar to how. Uh, uh, Betty Ross's dad hates Hulk. Yeah, 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 I don't know how much of it's similar to that, right? Yeah. Um, I don't even know how much that of Sam Lane actually existed before before Hulk, anyways, right? Um, but they are they they and it ends up being quite similar. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll have to see about that. Um, but I did like I did I didn't mind the change, even though you know the stuff like uh, you've got certain things in your head, and you're like, all right, well, this is supposed to be this, and this is supposed to be that, but yeah. In a show like um, this or or uh, Batman 1966, you're like, do whatever you want, man. You know, we know that you're going to fit the vibe of your series. You know what the vibe of your series is, and you do what you want. Yeah. And we won't complain because it's it's if it's silly, it's silly. And, and we're not with the joke. Where if sometimes it's dark, but they don't belong in the darkness, which is why yeah, I yeah, keep yeah, on saying, yeah, I say yeah. it about times, but that's the biggest example. Um, even Superman Man of Steel, where he's he's not even supposed to be that uh, that dark, that gloomy, anyways. But yeah. yeah, I think sometimes they do stuff that's overly dark. Um, this series is the opposite of that. Yeah, I think though, I will say what it got right was the workplace kind of romantic comedy. Yeah. I want to say comedy, right? But the, 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 that sort of drama vibe, yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And it got right how they portrayed Clark yeah, in okay. relation to everyone else as well. And how his, how his friendships are affected. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you will say, and I will agree with you, that Superman and Lois probably is the best Superman-related TV series? Yes. Big time. It's great. Well, because it got... It, well, I think it's well, because... We are more used to how the relationships are, and it's similar to how we're remembering it as is at the moment. That, and, like, it seems to me that they both are on equal footing, if that makes sense. Like, with, okay. like I was saying okay. before about this show, it kind of feels yeah. like 
Lois is a main character, and and Superman just sort of there <laughs> for the for the vibes, like. But Lois and Clark, because yeah, yeah. they're both like, sorry, Superman and Lois, because they got the whole parent dynamic going on as well. They are both yeah. our main character, right? Like, her storylines mm-hmm. in the show is as equal as Superman as Superman's, which works. Yeah, so this, I don't know, it's always sort of like. Oh, Lois is doing something kind of crazy, and then Clark gets kind of caught up in it. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, no, here comes Superman. Ooh, yeah. Like, that's what I remember of it. I could be wrong. It could be, it could have like a really like in depth love triangle, or whatever. But from what I remember, it no, was. No, <laughs> no. No, no. It, it, it definitely was not. It definitely was not. Um, yeah. And it did. Help that Superman and Clark were basically the same person. Yeah, that you know, <laughs> which feeds the trolls of pe- the people that say, "Look, Superman. we get it right." Yeah, as as all the excuses that DC comics always give us, right? Yeah, there's def- there's a definite difference between Clark and Superman. Yeah, he- Clark Kent is the greatest method actor there ever is, was, and ever will be. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to pull this off. Yeah, yeah. In the, in the world of comics, we'll accept it. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was an episode where an alternate universe, Clark, Superman, Pri- I don't call him the Superman Prime, but the Superman Prime of the, the Lois and Clark universe got trapped in a temporal whatever, right? But yeah. From another universe, just came. Yeah. And then when Tempest, the guy, uh, the guy who's causing all the trouble, was like, yeah, but uh, Clark is Superman, and then Clark is walking down the street with Lois, and then Superman floats down, right? Yeah. And they're like, all right, well, Okay, they just, she, you know, he's clearly not him because they're two separate people. It's like, well, yeah, but Fair all right. right, if you say so, yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah, the sake of convenience, yeah, yeah, but of course, you you buy it less because of the of the the enacting difference. <laughs> yeah, there was an episode where Christina Lockin was in uh, Terminatrix. Okay, yeah, and she did the thing where. Um, in the comics, where Lex Luthor, well, not Lex Luthor, but in in the comics, one lady who was working for Luthor was trying to find out who's Superman's uh, identity, secret identity. Yeah. And then when she fed all the stuff into the computer, uh, worked out, oh, oh Superman is Clark Kent. Okay. Yeah. yeah the computer it. got all the evidence, and it worked out. It must be correct, right? Yeah. And then and then Lex Luthor was like, Lex Luthor like it's correct if you're cold calculating machine with no mind or knowledge because why would a man like Superman ever pretend to be a normal person he's applying his own logic to yeah. severe powers he wouldn't he wouldn't pretend to be human right right yeah but logically speaking Superman doesn't have uh mask and super space so therefore you assume Superman is his Even. actual identity yeah yeah, yeah. Well, as far as the comics goes, right? Yeah. And I think there was one where after Super, after Clark returned, and I think he was he showing super, uh, super. I don't know. He was showing something or someone. The bronze statue that hit it was Superman and Eagle, and he was like, "Yeah," and um, and uh, they all. Well, it actually, quite makes sense that how this disguise works because if they perceive Superman as as that, yeah. And you're looking like this. People just wouldn't wouldn't put two and two together. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that uh, I will say. Yeah, <laughs> I think other people. Yeah, have acted the differences better yes. than Dean Cain. Yeah. Um. Aside from, I haven't watched much of the Super Boys. Yeah. So I can't really have any, but they do look different. Um. Yeah, and as much as I would say Tyler Hickel has got a particular face shape, right? I don't. He, he there is differences when he plays Clark and Superman. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, it's like kind of not night and day sort of thing. Like two different people. Yeah. Rather than, oh, he's just playing him, but slightly less uptight. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. It's... Would you say? Would you say? In your opinion, of all the Supermans you've seen in live action. Yep, Dean Kane is 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 the one that uh, um, acts the least Superman slash Clark. 
Um, yeah, he does. Gat? A, yeah, he has differential. A worse, um, Wait, dual identity. I don't want to see. That's the thing. Is it? Yeah. If I say that, I may sound like I'm saying I'm just trying to run it from a neutral perspective, where it's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, okay. But we'll call it as it is. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's probably the worst Superman. Um, he's, he's, fine, he's fine as Clark, I think. Yeah, he's fine it, as it, Clark. You know, because the whole series is more about Clark than it is Superman. But, yeah, as as, as much as we're there to see how different people... Uh, the actual acting chops of a guy is... Uh, yeah. He's yeah. He was no not, he's not, George he's New, not Newborn. On it, as well as some other Superman. Like, even the, the what, Superman... Sorry? I think... Around this time as well, the new the Superman cartoon was would have been coming out as well. I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think the first season, it wasn't Tim Daly did the voice. I think it was George. No, no, it was Tim Daly. Yeah, Tim Daly. Tim Daly voice that. Um, he was doing yeah. the voice as Clark and Superman. <laughs> and even in that, you could tell the difference when he was Superman and he was like Clark. Yeah. But yeah, so. Even for this time period, I can't, I can't even say that Dean Cain was all right because you had him yeah, getting yeah. sure enough yeah. on... The that's that's the thing. That's, I... Yeah. Yeah. Um, though, I do think the main cast suited as they are. I would say, you know, the main cast that's in the credits and stuff like that. Yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, yeah. I know we're, if I don't want to continuously not get Dean Cain's acting as... The two separate personas because yeah, yeah. there wasn't much yet. But he, was, I, I have to say, he was he was fine as Clark. He, he you know, um, yeah. Uh, I have no, as a journalist, as a, someone who could go and do own um, stuff and stuff like you know, like as much as we like Christopher Reeve and stuff like with, with, when he acts as Clark Superman, his Clark is too bumbling, and you're like, how did this guy become a journalist? Yeah. You know? mm. Other than the comics, say he becomes one. But then again, not to knock Henry Cavill either, but. Is that about to become a journalist? Other than the comics say that he is as well. Yeah, so... Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. like I said, I'm... Um, but at least... Uh, at least Clark Kent's... At least Dean Cain's Clark Kent does some uh, uh, actual journalistic... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's one thing he holds over the DCEU version, isn't it? Yeah, well, and I would say him, 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 and Terry Hatch had a good kind of like uh, relationship going on. Yeah, yeah, they had a good rapport. Like, I didn't yeah, want to question that's, that. That's like, the word I was they're looking both for. just actors. Like, I was like, okay, yeah, they kind of they do pull off, you know, being two people who yeah. have chemistry. It's just yes, like, yes, yes. That that sort of like, um. Not okay, yeah. Not the not the lustful chemistry or anything like that, but just you know, people that gradually then but get together and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that they, they had the build for that, so it, it kind of worked. So, yeah, yeah. It's not like for example Smallville where Clark was like, Oh, Lana, boom, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Her, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. All all the time, all the way, you know? Yeah, which got old very quick. Five seasons, six seasons, you know. It's not the same rubbish. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of funny because, like, so if they started off, if they're 14 years old in season one, yeah, and Superman can't get into any underage shenanigans, so they have to at least wait for him to be 18 yeah. before they even do anything, right? That's five seasons, yeah. <laughs> All right, I keep forgetting that they put themselves in a bit of a hole there. See, when you yeah. told me that, it blew my mind. Like, <laughs> wait, he's meant to be, he's in the start, he's 15. What <laughs> I didn't know, yeah. Like yeah. That. Which oh, is funny because Tom, because he was like early. Tom Welling was twenty. Yeah, yeah, twenty four. Yeah. Which is funny because Dean Cain is twenty six when he's starting to be Superman. Oh, okay. In, in this, um, and which is even funnier because the guy who was playing Superboy at the end of Superboy yeah. was thirty two. Oh wow. Yeah. Because I just remember like. Yeah, yeah. So Superboy was older than Superman. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Because I remember when I was watching Smallville, I would when, Smallville, yeah. when, when Smallville came out, I was 14, 15. I was, now I think it was like, I don't know, nothing like that at that age. I saw a little like a child. Oh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's why I always, I was like, nah, it's got to be 19, 18 or something like that. Yeah. But, right? Because, yeah. you know, 
why are you saying this girl's the love of your life and you'll be forever with all that stuff yet yeah? if you're if you're if you're a child see they don't look their age and that's the thing if they no. did look their age then some yeah. of their behaviors would be fine because you know they're always talking about Clark secret and stuff like that. i could get you make stupid decisions when you're a kid yeah 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 same but you don't look like a kid you do adult stuff so no which made it weird yeah <laughs> Hey. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so we we knocked down Dean Cain's Superman, right? Yeah. Ranking as the live action Lois Lanes, where would you put Terry Hatcher? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That have to be exact. You just the middle tier, lower right. tier. How, um, how do you reckon she is as a? Oh, it's gonna be really bad. Not bad, but um, how I'm gonna sort of do this? So, um, okay. Oh, that's really bad. So look wise, it's really bad. I would put her high. Yes. I put like probably one number one. Come on. Yeah. No, but she does look like the comics Lois Lane. Yeah. As well, so you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Even though later on, see her series one. Yeah. Haircut was similar to Lois Lane. I think later on when she cuts her hair shorter, she looked less like yeah, comics definitely. Lois Lane. Yeah. It's like oh okay, this is what yeah. we're doing. Um. Yeah, but if you told me this lady plays Lois saying I can I'll accept it. it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll buy it. It's the uh, Amy Adams strawberry blonde hair Lois Lane, which is kind of okay. Trying, so, all right, so Terry Hatch would be look. All right, I my favorite at the moment, and yeah. just because of how they how she's been betrayed in it would be Lois from Superman and Lois. Okay, yeah, but see, to lock, yeah, yeah, and then maybe I don't know. I like Amy Adams, but I don't like. I don't know. I find, I find her acting style weird. Wait, wait, you Amy acted Amy Adams as an actor, or Amy Adams as Lois Lane? Both. I, okay, 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 okay. I, I kind of feel like she acts like some. She acts like a real person, but not. Oh, it's yeah. really weird. You know what I mean? It's like she just. Oh, it's, it's a weird way to explain okay, it without okay. being insulted. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she acts like someone who would be on a on like a reality documentary show. If that okay. makes sense. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. she's not over. Yeah, yeah. Well, the... yeah. Robotic. To to be fair, even in the whole Man of Steel movie, she was trying to be an investigative journalist, and she was doing the the the, the stuff that we would expect Lois Lane to do. Yeah. So, so that's that. <laughs> that's that. And then I think after that, so I probably put her and um the one from Superman. Returns to George Bosworth. Yeah, I put them, put them both as like number three because they're both interchangeable. For honest. Oh, wait, what about what about the one from Smallville? What is that Elka Durant? Oh crap! No, no, right, like, she's Don't number forget. two. She's number two. She's number two. No. Yeah. Because she, she. So you 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 put Terry Hatcher. Look why he's near the top. I, I, yeah. It's in comics accurate. Look, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you put her in the middle somewhere as far as acting as. Yeah. It, within the show as Lois Lane, yeah. as you how you expected Lois Lane to be. Could, yeah, fair enough, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then Lex Luthor, where would you put John Shear? Um, maybe above. All right, so, oh, hmm, Hackman, obviously, Gene Hackman's is the, is the is the best Lex Luthor. Like, oh, is that what you think? Is that what you think? It's only because I personally uh, think you know I. I I, I'm with country. Actually, no, no, no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Michael Rosenberg from um, Smallville. He's the best. He's yes. The best he's the best. Le- I totally forgot about him from. Yes. Me. He's the best Lex Luthor live action. Yes. Yes. And then the others could just trickle down wherever. Yes. They want, yeah. Really. And I and I think it's. Well, I, 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 I let me let me back you up on that point. There. It's just because he had seven seasons to the point. You, you start as a, as a a good enough character that. He makes the turn feel we, we feel sympathy for him, yeah. And then we see the, the story arc of look, how does this this guy? There was segments where he could have turned back, but he just got 
pushed too far or yeah. just led in the wrong direction and stuff like that. Yeah. Too many secrets. Uh, Clark gaslighting him, all that stuff, right? Yeah. It feels Finally, natural. But, come, so he had time to make the turn. Yeah, yeah. it feels natural. Um, I thought Gene Hackman's... Gene Hackman's uh, Lex Luthor was a bit over the top for me. A yeah. bit of a hammy kind of campy... I mean, he suited where he was in. However, I don't feel like Gene Hackman was ever going to play it straight at all. No, he wasn't, no. Um, yeah. Uh, Kevin Spacey, I don't really think he did much with it. No, he was just there. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He did all right. And Josh, he got to do stuff. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him that. He got to try and woo Lois. He got to try and uh, all his schemes and stuff like that. Be Superman's uh, actual nemesis, you know? Yeah. I think he was a pretty solid Lex Luthor. Um, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, I, I get yeah. that. And, and, and he was what the series needed him. Like, he came, he was uh, charming as well when he needed to be. Yeah. <laughs> He almost stole Superman's woman. That's that's the level of the guy, you know. Yeah. He's like Superman. You got all, you're there, and I'm number one in Metropolis. Therefore, I take you down and take. Even though you know that's just that's just his ego. But you can tell, you know, it's it's all him and his arrogance and stuff like that um, like... behind all of that. So I, I actually thought he was a pretty, a pretty good Lex Luthor. Yeah, he was no Michael Rosenberg though, because he actually... even though he got, didn't get. It, Got Lois, you know, not Lois. Yeah. Sorry, he actually he did actually get like Lana Lang a couple of times. So he yeah. stole he Superman's was. woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's a shame. Like uh, Michael Rosenbaum would have never won the tech suit. I don't think. Right. Well, yeah. they, they would have got to the the the, the point as he was. Just sheer though, I think he should have wear wore the tech suit at some point. Um. So. Um, I feel that that would have been a jump. I did like moment. John John Cryer. Oh yeah, John Cryer was good. Yeah, yeah. the, the small <laughs> scene of him in in like uh, yeah, but he he, he yeah he 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 like he enjoys the ham though as well. I have to say yeah, he he he's got the tech. He gets the tech suit yeah, but he he's got like I think there was one where he's the the bit where he's being introduced and he's talking about the uh, that, that he's on trial and then he's like yeah. Well, you're never going to be able to convict me, anyways. Yeah. And then he just gasses the entire, all the jury, you know, went in the, in the, uh, in the court. It's like, yep, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Those are levels, man. And then um, the, the the guy playing uh, Lex Luthor, um, Superman, Superman Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, I like. I don't think we've well. seen enough. The small bit we saw of him, I was like, wow, this is. A uh, we haven't take seen enough of him. People. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's bitter. He's yeah. hard bitter. And I yeah. could. I'll see where they go with that. Yeah. Uh, and then the one clip. Come on. No, I was gonna say, no, no, that's what I was gonna say. And uh, th- I was gonna say the, the one, the one episode we saw Lex Luthor in Titans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he died. But he was <laughs> good though. All right. I mean, I can't go enough to compare him to. No, but that, <laughs> yeah, that but one episode we've not enough to see you. Yeah, but if you if if you said to me, oh, you know, make a list of the greatest Lex Luthers. It was like this this guy it's unfair to even put him on the list because he doesn't really do much he doesn't do much but he he, he still does quite a lot if that makes sense like, i don't know his presence was quite yeah, like oh it's wow true. but no I, be... I, I, I... yeah it'd be unfair to put him at the bottom just because he hasn't got enough screen time to do anything yeah. compared to everyone else you know it's a bit like um uh if you you know when people talk about james bonds and they say jules lazenby is not yeah. a great james bond it's like, well, yeah but the guy got he um, yeah. one movie to do something and yeah. th- whereas I would say Tim Dalton was actually a really good Bond a hardcore Bond right yeah. <laughs> of the, of the uh, Daniel Craig template <laughs> before Daniel Craig but he because he came after Roger Moore era yeah, well, um, which was uh, very campy yeah. and he was trying to be more straightforward people yeah. were like no nah, he's terrible it's like no no you look about now this is a guy who's a spy who goes on a mission to do stuff you know yeah none of this like i want to drink I, I, yeah be drunk i mean if i if... <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um but yes um yeah so that'll, that'll be us uh closing yeah, up um because i i what well, unless you've got more questions about the series but you're, you're already saying you're you only got to you yeah if 
if you weren't intrigued to watch season four, you wouldn't be watching it anyways. Yeah. And and you're not going to go back anytime soon to watch anything regardless. No, like I said, I, I would watch the Superboy TV show because I heard, from what I yeah. remember, that was weird. So I'd, I'd like to see well, uh, how okay. weird it was. All right, all right. We'll have to, uh, yeah, find out where that is at yeah. some point. But because I'm also intrigued, and we, we both want to see Lex Luger in it. Yeah. That's the memory that sticks out in my head. I think he's in, in season it. four, though. I think we have to wait. This four se- oh, yeah. Lord. I think we have to wait a long time for him to appear. So- but the thing is, though, is Lex Luger, the fully grown man, being the next super boy. It's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But you know what's funny about that? <laughs> I thought all yeah. this time that this Superboy show was only like a season long. It was like one of them weird fever dreams that became a thing. <laughs> you're telling me it's four seasons long. Oh, that's yeah. crazy to me. I, I I remember seeing parts of season one because I remember the, the act, that actor. I don't remember the the the, the new actor, the, mm. you know, the guy who took over afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe like for, for us, we only caught it on season one and yeah, that's maybe, it. Yeah. You know, we never caught it any other... And, and and it didn't get it didn't get replays um, no. because of rights and stuff like that. So and I think yeah. Bizarro's um, in it, if I'm correct. But yes, yeah, we'll try and find that. So sorry, I think Bizarro's in it at some point as well. I oh could yeah, be wrong. Yep, yep, okay. yep. And yeah. and uh, you know, in, in the Supergirl, oh, you haven't watched Supergirl, right? Yeah. But she works for the the DEA, the DEO. Yeah. DEO, whatever it is, right? Yeah. Superboy and Lana. This is just like that. I mean, they go to college, but they also work for the, some wherever, wherever. It's like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I wonder how this all works together. You know, yeah. Are they like X Files, where it's like Clark and Lana go to investigate, and then Superboy does this on the side? You know, or, yeah. Uh, um, yes, I'm gonna be 100 percent prepared for a show wackier than the show that I just did watch. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see yeah. how that one works. Can't wait for it. It's gonna be amazing or terrible, yeah. either way. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. You, you, are you actually so? As much as anticipation is concerned, you're like this, rubbing your hands yeah, <laughs> I am, but... in the anticipation of Super Bowl. I'm setting my hope, okay. my, like my my hope, so low that it, it can only go up. I mean, that's how I'm. Yes, yes, yes. To this. I, 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 I'm, I'm. That's the same way I'm looking at it. It's like it's not gonna be terrible, but it's gonna be amazing. The next. Bad. Next yeah. level. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be like really well, difficult. so bad it's good. That's what I'm yeah. expecting at the yeah. very least. That's what I'm hoping. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. So yeah, I guess yes. This is us. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's us um, signing up for this episode. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm the man who talks about Elvis so much that I actually bled into my comic counterpart, Cy Chung. And I am the man who hasn't really got any strength they <laughs> i didn't really stop that bus someone else really stopped it i just saw my hand a hand grew so i put my hand in it kyle charles and thank you for listening to us let's talk about lois and clark the new adventures of superman or if he was in england for the first season the new adventures of superman yeah and <laughs> Yes. Did you any of you guys remember this? Was you old enough to watch it? Uh I remember on Saturdays at six o'clock, I think it was, watching it. Yeah, yeah. great times. On BBC One, then on Sky One when it became that weird thing. But anyways, so yeah, let us know what you thought this season of the show. Um would you go back and watch it? And if so, what was your favourite episode and who are your favourite actors from the show? And are you surprised that loads of these actors went on to do better things? Uh, well, well, Terry yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, and less said about. Hey, hey, hey! Look, Dean, Ka- Dean Kane did the classic movie. I forgot it. See? I was gonna say Rollerball. It's not Rollerball though. No, wait, wait. <laughs> he did. Oh, what was it now? That that movie oh, that also has a Wesley Snipes cameo that we were gonna review as well, and I, I, we we haven't got to it. Oh, I need to find out what um, this is now. It's gonna annoy me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 it's wait. definitely not rollable. I, I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, film apparently with, uh, but yes, yes. Um, and and you talk about you talk about him. Jimmy Olsen, Justin Wayland was in Dungeons and Dragons yeah. and Chucky Three. He was in Chucky. Oh wow, okay. Um, right. yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Chuck, uh, Charles Play 3, yeah. Wow. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, I, 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 hey, look, th- these people made their money somehow. Um, uh, yeah. I guess he's no, but Dean Kane has made actually appearances in um, Smallville and, and Supergirl. Yeah, because so Smallville, he was Morgan I Ace, think that's just yeah. the Superman legacy. Yeah. Sorry? Because in Smallville, he was Morgan Edge, right? No, no, no. He was Curtis Knox. Oh. AKA Vandal Savage, but they, they didn't call him Vandal Savage. Oh, yeah. I remember you saying something like that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Why did I think he was Morgan yeah. Edge? Huh. Yeah, no, nah, he was because Morgan Edge did turn up in an episode of Smallville. I remember that, but I can't remember who played him. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. oh no, um, it was yeah, that was Christopher Reeves in it. He played Morgan Edge, right? No, 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 Christopher Reeves played Virgil Swan. Oh, then who, who the hell was? Oh, anyways, um, yeah. So um, let us know and um, tell us your favorite DK film. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's been in a lot. Oh gosh, and he's still in film. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, but uh, look, look, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm saying this is a guy. I'm not surprised has done a lot of TV movies because that's the level of his um yes. capabilities. It seems. Yeah, not uh, really bad, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And yes, and yeah, don't think yeah. yet. Look, look, folks. But he could be better. I'm not gonna make fun of the guy. He's he's doing better than me, so I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, well, it's true. I mean, like sometimes you know, you, like if there's actual venom behind our yeah. uh, hatred for a person, yeah, you, you can tell it. Yeah, sometimes we make fun of them because whatever, right? Yeah. But yeah, like, uh, um, Dean King's done. He, he, he's making movies done well for himself. As much as we could cuss him, yeah, we don't we, like because you can't. I like can say. However, we can't cuss Steve as a girl, even though he's doing this about the same level of stuff because yeah. he's pompous and uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he he is like generally. Okay. Terrible. Yeah, and everything. He, he is a terrible. Yeah. I mean, like, so. yes, he's making movies, yeah, but Steve Pascal, I, I like, yeah, yeah. I, and I, what you find out about him, his level worse. of acting, I don't even know how he managed to make movies. That's... Yeah, because you know, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. gonna take all the birthdays. <laughs> 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 uh, still, I've done that. That sentence means. Oh. oh. So yeah. Um. So oh. don't forget to. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Um, that'd be down below. And if you're listening to this in the audio format, um, don't forget to give us a five-star review on the podcast, leave a review and let us know. And if, I could, if you let us know, I'll probably can find it and I'll read it. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And um, yeah, keep a look out on that. There's lots of stuff on there, like my weird... I don't know if you know. Yeah, I decided to go back and like play old superhero games. I'm on like <laughs> Spider Man. Wait till you get to oh. Superman 64, right? Oh, I'm never going that far. <laughs> no. I said to myself, I'm only going to, like <laughs> PS2 onwards. So, oh, at the moment I'm playing Spider Man oh. the movie game from 2002, yeah. and I used to love this game as a kid. Playing it now, this game is terrible. It is. Oh. Wait, wait, isn't the swinging meant to be really good though? No, it's crap. It's crap. Is like, it Spider Man Two where the swinging starts? Spider Man really Two is where where it starts getting good. Oh, okay. But I've got like two other games. Cause I'm going in chronological yeah. order. I oh, the, next... the releases. Yeah. So the next game after this, hopefully, is going to be X Men Two: Wolverine's Revenge, and that, I remember that being pretty decent. So I can't wait to. All right. Hold on. So you're not gonna play Spider Man PS One and oh, Spider Man. No, screw that! No, I can't. That's that's another one I can't go back. That's actually made it really, really good. I, I think I remember playing it. it was pretty I remember being really at the time. good, but like I've seen like footage of it recently. I'm like I can't. The looking at it just hurts my eyes. Okay. Like, all right. Oh, all this, right. This, this, all right. That, it's terrible. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you know, wait, wait, wait. Does that mean you're gonna play Super Mario? Returns. Just keeping the things back on yes. Superman, but you gotta yes. play Superman Returns then. Yeah, because I think I actually had that okay. game. If not, I'm gonna right. like buy it for cheap and play it. But yeah, so okay. Um, okay. I'll get up to that at some point. So yeah, so keep an eye on that, guys. And um, yeah, so until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you for taking a trip with us around the multiverse. Bye. Bye. And where is the. <laughs> Boo! Has it stopped? Oh, there we go.